if you're wallpapering under a sink and you want to go around these pipes, first see if you can get the escutcheon away from the wall. Sometimes you can't, but if you can, the way I have right here, you'll do a better job, okay? The one in the center can't be moved, so we're gonna cut around it. Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just wanna remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello and enjoy your discount. So the important thing is to make sure that your wallpaper is square with the wall that has the pipes. Let me show you what I mean up close. It's square. If I cut this, I'm going to be cutting a, a line that is parallel to the line at the bottom. If it is not square with the wall, and it's something like this, I think I'm cutting straight, but what you'll see is you'll be cutting at a 45 degree angle and your line will be perfectly crooked and you won't blow it. So here's our pipe. We want to cut a line. If our wallpaper is up against it, we want to cut it straight against the pipe. So that's what I'll be doing. Oh, man. I hope somebody's benefiting from these videos. Boy, let me tell you. I really do. They take a lot of time to make. Okay, my escutcheon is lifted up about an inch. And so I'm going to take my knife and penetrate it just outside of the escutcheon. And I'm going to pull straight meaning parallel with the baseboard or as they say in the UK the skirting board the skirting now I want to wrap my wallpaper around the pipe so I'm simply pushing it under the escutcheon and if I come to a stress point I'm going to eliminate the stress by making another cut now that's where it gets tricky. That's where you can overcut. Let me take you up here. So far so good. But now look, we have that piece. And we gotta join this piece to here. Now we wanna make the cuts under the escutcheon. And we wanna go this way. Because if I go this way, I might overcut it. Okay, do you understand why? If I go this way, I won't overcut. If I go this way, it's a guessing work. So we want to go toward where it's hidden. Okay, so... <laughs> All right, so I'm pulling it back out from, from where it was hidden, and I'm going to make my cut. Why did I take it from where it was hidden? Because it's going to go back to being hidden. So it makes sense that I would make the cut where we're not going to see it right around. Oh, Spencer, you're so funny. I can't believe you. No, 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 relax. I'm only a human being. Okay. Where you make your cuts is very important. I really wish you could see what I'm doing. Because there's a lot of do-it-yourselfers out there who really are doing great work. Let me see if I can bring you up closer. Well, guess where you guys are? You guys are on a pipe. Oh, man. This is a hard spot, you know? Okay. 
back to surgery. Now, I'm going to push my wallpaper up against the main drain. And then I'm going to make a visual mark in my mind where it touches, where the, where the wallpaper meets the, the main escutcheon. And that is the point at which I want to cut the wallpaper away from the pipe. In other words, I'm going to penetrate it right now. And you can see I'm blocking the wall. So I'm, I'm making the point where escutcheon meets wall, and I'm pulling it toward you, which is away from the wall. I hope you don't fall. Nice. Spencer, you did a great job. Sorry, I've learned to encourage myself by talking to myself. Don't mind me. Okay. Oh, Spencer. Excellent. Oh, jeez, you did great. Oh, my God. Spencer, you're doing wonderfully. Okay, careful, don't get cocky now. We have to make the wallpaper meet. Oh, yes. Don't worry, if we can't, we just won't publish the video. Don't worry about it. That's true. Okay. Okay, very good. I'm only kidding. Um, last night I got lonely, and I started arguing with Alexa. Now, for those of you who just began watching my videos, no, Alexa is not my wife. She's the mechanical device from Google. Or is she Amazon? What is it? I have no idea. Okay. So I just decided to argue with her. I said, Alexa, what is the purpose of life? She said, hmm, I'm not sure. And I called her an idiot. If you ever want to get away with calling somebody an idiot, fight with Alexa. She's friendly after you do that. She doesn't get offended so easily. Okay, this is major surgery. We're doing a little guesswork here. Now, the reason I'm being so careful is because there's a toilet bowl two feet away from me. And guess where nosy people like to look when they're using the bathroom? You guessed it. At my wallpaper. Hold on to that. Okay. Oh, this is a real pain. Okay, now I'm going to make my circumference cut because... All of my stress is relieved. I dropped the phone. Now I'm just using the escutcheon as a, as a, uh, you know, as a thing against which to cut. Oh, what a pain. Hold on there. You know what I like to hear when customers say? How much? How much? But they're not there when I'm doing this. Oh no. They're out on their boat while I'm doing this. Not the folks for whom I'm working now. But generally, how much? I love the people who think you shouldn't be as rich as they are. I have, I had some nervy customer. I didn't work for her. She said to me, how much? That's a bunch of bull crap anyway, that stupid rumor. How much? That's a tactic. So I said it louder than I first said it. She says, how much is that an hour? I said, 
I don't know. I don't work for the hour. Those days are over. You know? How much is that an hour? So, uh, you know, they start getting get into an economics course. Philosophy of economics. How much? That's when, that's when you want to say, how much do you make? Imagine going to a doctor and saying, doctor, how much is the operation? And then you say, how much? And then he says, why don't you go somewhere else and get it? You wouldn't say that to a doctor, right? Who's more important? Your wallpaper hanger or your doctor? Obviously, right? Wallpaper. So why would you say it to me? Right or wrong? Mm. So now, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You guys are gonna love this though, seriously. I mean, I'm being extra diligent because I'm here to show you guys how to do this. But let me tell you something, this looks awesome. Okay, so we're getting our bottom in place because the, the pipe is above us and we want to see where we're going to have to make our cut. You can easily make the cut in the wrong place. Okay, let me show you the other side of this. paper <clears throat> square which I've already explained right what that means we're gonna hold it square with the wall so that our cut we're gonna make a cut we have to since we can't make the pipe penetrate the wallpaper just in a whole like fashion you can't do that we are not God, right? So we have to yield to our own weakness, right? Okay. So. So now, here's something I hope I'm explaining well enough. How do I know my wallpaper will not exceed and overlap the next sheet? Well, I put it together at the bottom. And so therefore, where my wallpaper encounters this pipe, it should be pretty much where the wallpaper should be where it's supposed to be, right? If my if the wallpaper is at the bottom and it's where it's supposed to be, then I should be able to. The bank cards. Oh, just got a text. Don't mind me. Okay. 
So I'm going to penetrate this paper. Okay, nice and straight, parallel. Okay, nice and fast. So this way, the slower you go, the more crooked your cut is, believe it or not. My escutcheon is away from the wall. Let me bring you up close, show you. See what's going on here? So my wallpaper's straight down here. If my wallpaper is now square with the wall, then when I penetrate it right here and cut straight across, my cut should be straight, etc., etc. right? Now, when I make my circumference cuts, I bring the paper back down to the escutcheon and I feel where the metal meets the wallpaper. And that's where I make my penetration because I do not want to overcut. It's a sloppy job. It looks unprofessional and it shows that you're an amateur. You know, you don't want to be called an amateur. If, listen, you know, you know what people want to see? They want to look under the sink and see, wow, how the heck did he, how the heck did she do it? How did they do that? Okay. And, uh, and it's not terribly difficult as long as you're following the principles, right? But what it is, is hard on the body. And you have to be somebody who has patience. Like, you don't have to be patient at home. But you gotta be patient enough to say, you know what? These people are paying me. I wanna do my best here, you know? And that's, the, you think of it like that. And then you're gonna do a good job. And honestly, if you don't, you don't belong hanging wallpaper for people. You really don't. I cannot stand wallpaper hangers who want to come and work for you. And they say on the first job, that looks good enough. I hate that. That looks good enough. Yeah? Well, do me a favor. Don't come back tomorrow. That looks good enough. It's not good enough. So that's where I'm coming from. Yeah. And um, that's where you get your name from. When you put in the time so that when your customer gets on his knees after you leave to inspect your work, he's like, wow. He's not going to do it in front of you. But he's going to do it when you leave. Because because this, this sink is visible. And so it should be done to the best of one's ability, you know? And that's the deal, folks, you know? Oh, man, is this difficult. It is. I'm making my circumference cuts. And it's hard because I'm in between the pipes here. And they're not moving for me. Sometimes I talk to myself just to encourage myself. Don't mind me, please. You're amazing. You're the best. You are the best, Spencer. There's nobody like you. Anyway, I'm doing my best here. You're gonna love this. Look, I'm sorry if you can't, if you haven't gotten a great view of this, but wait till you see this. 
I'm telling you, you're gonna just love it. You really are. See the precision, how it all meets up. You're gonna love it. Let me show you. Okay. If you like the video, please click on like. Are you subscribed to my channel yet? Yeah, well, if you subscribe, you'll get all the videos only if you hit the bell. You see the bell when you click on subscribe? You have to hit all, and then you will get all of the videos that come after this. Thanks for watching my channel. You're like.